In Chapter 2 of this Fire Emblem Engage Maddening Ringless Run, we get challenged to a mock battle by none other than Dragon Mommy, who wants to teach us how to play the game. This battle has two phases. The first one is a simple fight against Lumera herself and two of her minions. In this battle, we get introduced to two new playable characters. Let's start by having a look at Clan the Mage. Clan is going to be very useful in the early chapters of this playthrough. His ability to nuke safely and reliably at true range will allow me to set up a lot of kills for Alir. On hard mode, Clan is able to double right away, and thanks to his decent speed growth, he can keep doubling well into the mid to late game. On Maddening, he does not double reliably, and is absolutely going to drop off at some point and be replaced with the best girl when she eventually joins. Clan's personal skill is sadly another subpar one, as it gives both him and Alir 10% extra hit when they're adjacent to one another. This isn't really a boost either of them needs, since both swords and tomes are pretty accurate, but as with everything else, I'll take advantage of it when I can get it. I don't foresee myself investing a lot into Clan long term, he is a bit too frail and his magic growth is kind of subpar. But I'll deploy him for as long as he's useful, however long that might be. Then we have Fram the Martial Monk, a new class introduced to Engage that specializes in fist weapons and staves. Fram is a bit of a meme in the fandom due to her very often dealing zero damage twice, and while I enjoy making fun of her, I do recognize that she's actually a fantastic utility unit. She can heal, do chip damage, and break bow and tom users with her fist weapons, granted she actually deals damage to them, which is why Elyra's personal skill is so good for her, as it guarantees she will at least deal 3 damage twice. Fram also has by far the best personal skill of the Dragon Guardian trio, in Crimson Chair, giving her and Alir 10% extra avoid when adjacent to one another. Unlike Hit, avoid is a far more valuable stat, and something you definitely want to stack. And this is also a personal skill that Fram will naturally be activating a lot anyway, since she comes with the skill Chain Guard, an insanely useful utility tool that allows her to guard adjacent units, absorbing the next hit against them, and just taking 20% of her health in damage instead, and getting some experience to boots. You can only activate Chain Guard when you are on full health, so Fram will need some healing to keep it going. But in Maddening mode, without Emblem Rings, it is going to be absolutely necessary for me to take advantage of this ability. This map has two phases. We have to defeat Lumera twice. On Maddening difficulty, every single boss in the game is immune to the break status, so you cannot disarm them with weapon triangle advantage. Lumera herself isn't that scary, at least not at first, but she will move to attack you on Maddening mode in phase 1, so be careful about that. Aside from that, phase 1 is fairly simple. I just focus the archer and the axe fighter down, taking a stray hit on Fram, which is a bit annoying seeing as she needs to be on full health to pop her chain guard later. This costs me a vulnerary. I weaken Lumera with Vander, and then she charges straight at Alir, getting herself killed on the next turn. Phase 2 is a little bit more tricky, as this time Lumera pulls out her genealogy of the Holy War Ring summoning the power of the most broken lord in Fire Emblem history. Facing off against an enemy Sigurd is very trolly, since the bonus movement Sigurd provides doesn't show up until after the character engages, so it's very common for Lumera to just take you by surprise. But luckily, this is a mock battle, so deaths are not permanent here. After dealing with the two charging enemies, which is fairly simple to do, I get ready to pull Lumera. My strategy is to set up a chain guard to absorb I'll her initial hits. But because I decide to feel the enemy's range, rather than actually counting tiles, Lumera and engages with Sigurd and jumps on Fram before I have a chance to react, nearly taking her out. This is not great as now I have to deal with both Lumera and her two cavalry minions without Chain Guard active, which was the whole point. Lumera nearly one-shots Vander with a Rider's Pain, but he's a tough old cookie and managed to survive it. Luckily, Alir pulls off a clutch dodge thanks to the Forest Avoid and is able to tank both of the Cavaliers without taking much damage. I then pop a Vulnerary with Fram so I can set up a Chain Guard next turn, which proves to be useless as Lumera misses a 70% hit against Alir. At this point, the two Cavaliers are on such low health that I can finish them off with the rest of my squad, leaving only Lumera herself. I lower her health within killing range with Clan and move in with Alir for the kill, taking down Dragon Mommy for an easy peasy clear. That's another chapter out of the way, but it's about to get a lot harder, a lot sooner than you think. Join me next time for chapter 3, and until then, leave a comment telling me how to cheese this game. I'm still taking one advice, and I'm very grateful for everything you've said so far. My name is Inmengs, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.